Om. Wisdom from snails. Is this My Little Pony or the Twilight Zone? Seriously. So, Buckball. This is a really fun episode and completely out of left field. Or the Twilight Zone. Yes, I'm going to be making this joke a lot. Um, and the real big kind of background star and yet very not background is snails of all people. Um, he shows a tremendous amount of magical talent that he's never really displayed before. And, you know, kind of saves the day with some very zen wisdom, telling um, Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie exactly what they need to hear to stop freaking out over what's going on, but now we're getting ahead of ourselves. Rewind! <laughs> okay, so, Buckball. Um, family game of the Apple family. Nobody knows about it. And yet, at the same time, somehow, they managed to turn this into Super Bowl 55. Um, <laughs> Applejack, uh, and Rainbow Dash, you know, get together to try and get a perfect team going, all for the sake of pride, which is centuries, even millennia old reason for sports to begin with. Ever since the first Olympic Games in Greece... It's all about pride. We're better than you! So, and they start practicing with the help of Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy only to find out that Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, as long as they are having fun, can place circles around them. I mean, we're talking about the two most athletic ponies in all of Ponyville, and they are getting creamed like a couple of noobs. It is hilarious. And kudos to, to Rainbow Dash. Normally, this kind of kick to her ego's nether region would lead to some very, very unpleasant blow-ups, and... Instead, she is just absolutely thrilled to death for Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie at how well they're doing. You know, that, that coach in her just really kind of comes out. Unfortunately, the coach in her comes out, and she and Applejack try and make them better based on the things that make themselves better. Not very good. Yeah. Some people thrive on pressure. Some people crack under it. And this is something that, you know, it takes them all the way till game day to figure out. And it's a pretty straightforward moral, one we've actually seen before. You can't you can't force the things that are important to you on your friends. Now, in this case, Buckball is important to all of them. They all love it. It's fun. It looks like fun. But Rainbow Dash and Applejack, what's important to them is hard work, discipline, focus, and that rush that comes from success when everyone is counting on you. They are the clutch players. They, they thrive on that high tension. Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, on the other hand, they're two kids on the playground who just happen to kick your butt every single day, and nothing you can do will change it, no matter how much you practice. They're just nuts. And once Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash kind of figure that out 
Um, they spend a bit of time both apologizing and actually fixing their mistake by having uh, by having them go out in a practice match against them and just telling them, don't worry about anything, just have fun with it. Just do what you can. And so, and they do a really good job. They, they, they lift Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy spirits back up. They're back to being their usual selves out on the field. And it gets to the point where Snails is actually taking a nap on the sideline because he has nothing to do. Because, and this is the one part where I actually, I think they kind of fell flat with the writing. The unicorns are glorified goalposts. Literally, the unicorn be can be replaced with an 18-foot metal pole. And when they actually show the actual game, neither of the team's unicorns are moving the the basket at all. They're they're just holding it in one place the entire time. Well, what's the point? I mean, you just you know, make the game interesting. Let the unicorns run around the field in circles, you know, moving the thing around to, you know, actively try and catch the ball. You know, give it some interesting shots like you know, a side pass out to out to the right side, just clear out of nowhere, and just have your unicorn suddenly pop over there with the basket. Boom! Gotcha! So, in a way, the game comes off as a little bit sexist because you have the unicorn, the unicorns in it. Really, it's like a participation prize. Like, yeah, you can play. Here, just hold the basket. You can be the ten foot pole. Yeah. So, but, great episode. Lots of fun. Looking forward to seeing the rest of the season. And this is now the longest video I've made. So, go out, enjoy your day. If you missed today's episode, I hope you recorded it because this is a good one. Later, ponies.